Marcus Savannah. Right, Check this out, y'all. Major political story in the presidential race. Mitt Romney defending comments secretly recorded at a private fundraiser in which he criticized Obama supporters as victims who are dependent on government. Michael Isakoff is NBC's national investigative correspondent. Michael, good morning to you. Good morning, Savannah. The newly leaked video was taken from a small digital camera concealed on a piece of furniture 20 feet from Romney as he spoke at a Florida fundraiser four months ago. And it's now raising tough new questions for his presidential campaign. There are 47% of the people who vote for the president. The video, first obtained by Mother Jones and later by NBC News, shows Romney surrounded by donors in May. NBC News has learned it was secretly recorded. Room full of white folks at a big white folks mansion. At the Boca Raton, Florida home of private equity mogul Mark Leader. Asked how he's going to convince voters that they need to take care of themselves, Romney responds. All right, the 47% who are with him who are dependent on the government. We believe that, that they are victims. We believe the government has a responsibility to care for them. We believe that they are entitled to health care, to food, to housing, to you name it. Romney concedes he has little chance of winning these voters over because they can't relate to his message of lower taxes and less government. These are people who pay no income tax. 47% of Americans pay no income tax. So our message of low taxes doesn't connect. He'll be out there talking about tax cuts for the rich. I mean, that's what they sell every, every four years. And, uh, and so my job is not to worry about those people. I'll never be against them. They should take personal responsibility and care for their lives. What? what? Why he doesn't attack the for sellout niggas. Romney says this about swing voters he's targeting. Because they voted for him, they didn't want to be told that they were wrong, that he's a bad guy, that he's a bad thing, he's corrupt. These, those people that we have to get, those they people, believe they did the right thing, but he just wasn't up to the task. They love the phrase that he's over his head. Well, the Obama campaign called Romney's comments shocking. Romney on Monday night responded at a campaign event in California. It's not elegantly stated, let me put it that way. I'm speaking off the cuff in response to a, a question, and I'm sure I could state it more clearly than I did in a setting like that. The president believes in what I've described as a government-centered society where government plays a larger and larger role, provides for more and more of the uh, needs of individuals, and I happen to believe instead in a, a free enterprise, free individual society, where people pursuing their dreams are able to employ one another, build enterprises, build the strongest economy in the world. I happen to believe that my approach is the approach that will put 23 million people back to work again. At one point in the video, Romney also makes a joke about the background of his famous father, who was born of American parents in Mexico. The source who made this secret video insisted to NBC News that the original motivation was not political, but simple curiosity to see what Romney would say in this unscripted setting. But after watching the tape, the source decided the public should hear what Romney said and was encouraged to release it after talks with an Atlanta political researcher named James Carter IV, the grandson of Jimmy Carter, a president who was frequently compared by Romney to Barack Obama as an example of a failed president. Savannah? All right, Michael is the coffin. See what I tell you, y'all about to vote for that racist motherfucker. Joe on MSNBC. Joe, good morning.